Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to understand a query. This is very important topic as the beginner for the performance tuning. Okay, so you know you guys might have uh, faced the problem with dealing with the slowness. Sometimes if you run simple select star from the table name, it gives you the result in a second or fraction of second very fast. But sometimes the same query when you run, you get that result in, in finite time um, or maybe more than one minute or maybe though more than two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes or the infinite time or sometimes you cancel that query because you are just bored to wait it. Why, why such thing is happen? Have you guys ever thought? So basically this video is totally dedicated to the performance tuning so i'm going to explain the performance problem and the today's topic is no law okay let's let's continue why that happened actually so so there are multiple reasons to happen it if that table is in the transaction if that table has a log right you know when we do dml operation like insert update delete or sometimes select also the log it placed for locking i have video which uh, its link I will share in the description. You can go to that video and you can get a lot of idea about that. Okay. So the main part is when we do activity the on the table, different thing happen like uh, locking happen. Then sometimes the table is being used for other purposes. So it, it is in the transaction. So a lot of thing happen. When the table is in the locking part, so so if we are pulling the data from that table, we need to wait until that get completed. And sometimes the transaction or the locking takes a lot of time. So we need to take a lot, we need to wait for a lot of time to complete it, right? So to avoid that situation, to fix that problem, we have a query level solution. We have a query level option and that option is no lock. So no lock is a query level hint which is being used or which is used for fixing the performance problem or the slowness right so basically if you guys might know the problem of dirty reads so what is dirty read basically dirty read means reading a data before it being committed so whatever the data you have on the table though it has a transaction though it has a log it won't wait to complete it will pull the data whatever the data it has into the system or what is it whatever the data it has been committing okay so that kind of data will get so we'll get a dirty read data so we don't need to wait until the current ongoing action to be completed right great but sometimes this situation is very useful when we do work on the reporting databases reporting codes because reporting code has a lot of joins and sometimes it places the loss or logs all right and sometimes it goes to the parallel uh, parallel processing cs packet wait types and a lot of thing happen so query takes a lot of time to complete and at the same time if you are pulling the data from that from that table it needs to wait or it needs to be locked so blocking happen a lot of problem happen right to fix that problem to get the result fast we need to use the no lock query great okay now i am going to explain this situation with practical demonstration let's begin so for demonstration purpose i'm creating a table create table my demo no log this is my table name i am adding adding one column called as int and i'm and making it as identity one just for uh instead of data instead of date part then i'm adding one more column naming it as a where care of 200 great so this is my table this my table is my demo no log it has two columns the first column is id another is name let's create this table now you can see the command executed completely now let's run the query and see the output as we just created this table we don't have any entry you would see only just name of the column we don't see the data into that okay great now what are we going to do we are going to insert data into this table so just write the insert code for this select great uh, then just add value into that i'm adding shrikanth 
as my name and as we have a two column so specify the name of column the first column we don't need because it's identity right then just run this code great now this table is having a single record i'm running this code let's see now just note down the time how much time does it take to complete it is getting completed less than a second right the fraction of second i can say it is very fast tremendous fast okay so my assumption is whenever i need data from this table without into without inserting data into this table i will always get the data fast okay so i use this table in my code in my store procedure and what happened you know there is a person or there is a script which is in the transaction or which is taking a lot of time or which is taking a lot of time to complete which is in transaction for demonstration purpose because for demonstration purpose i need to keep a hold on the table so that i can show you the live demonstration so what i'm going to do i'm going to run this query first no i haven't started any transaction just for pulling the data so what are i am going to do i am going to update i am going to update what i am going to update the name to shrikan to sql is easy uh right with a condition where id is equal to 1 so this is and okay this query still have issues why just fix this understand the query just try to read the uh, query how can i fix the problem yeah just simply place analysis i am going a as analysis for this okay now everything is correct what i am going to do first i need to start the transaction i am starting it then my intention is to update the table a with id is equal to 1 right so just run the code see now the one row affected that's fine now this is the tab i last time i ran it so i'm coming back to here and again running the same script now let's see what happen so this is my table select start from my demo and low log and this is the code and if you'll observe it carefully this was the query which was taking very less time it was getting completed in fraction of second now why now what i was saying 18 second 19 second 20 second 20 second 21 22 23 lot of time is going fast but this query is not getting completed but it has only what it has only one row this is for demonstration purpose this is a pure demonstration for the no log great now to understand the concept or to prove my point i'm going to the new tab there i'm showing you the uh, locking on the table now how do we do that sp this this is the play simple sp just running now the session id where i'm running the code is what the session id i would say if you'll come here uh, you, here you will see the session id the session id is 57 uh, where the code is running and the session id where the code where the where the table is block is 51 58 sorry yeah 58 and 57 now here these are all the processes now there is a column called as the bulk by sorry block by and uh, let's try to understand let's try to find out the session id first of all so session id for my session is 57 so this 57 is suspended why it is suspended just try to read it so logging is sh shrikan and the host name is shrikan fine then there is a query called as a select and all these things are there this is just for information purpose this query is still running right okay so just i'm telling you the code which was taking in fraction of second is now taking a 1.1 one, uh, one and half mini and still it's running okay let let it run now if i am coming back here so 58 so i can see from the uh, locking here the 58 is being blocked right sorry 57 is being blocked by 58 so what is 58 then 58 58 now i can see this is sleeping right i can say this 58 which is sleeping why this is sleeping awaiting commands so this is awaiting commands this is waiting for some kind of command right so if if you understand the structure now let's try to read it first let's try to understand so 57 is my query where the query code is running and the 58 is the session where my actual uh, blocking is happen there 
right so you you can also go with the sp law where you can see all the logs and other part right but for this video i am not making it more complicated so just try to go through only 50 and this block by is very important right great uh, now how to fix that fixing is very simple just do one thing just stop the code now so just tell you the less than a second code now is taking three minutes i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to stop it i stop the code and now what i'm going to do i'm going to use the query hint with no lock just run the code now let's see the query which was taking earlier three and more than that time now how much time does it take let's run it i can see the query got executed in a fraction of second which was earlier doing so 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 what you know so so if i run this query code again without no lock what will happen let's see this code is still running this code is not completed right this code has still problem and it is in transaction that's why so what i'm going to do i'm going to run this code now it got complete in second now let's come back here and let's see again sp who to now if you go to the sp who to and if you go to the session number 58 you will see this 58 is not being blocked right so 57 is not being blocked block. it is being sleeping right obviously and this is 58 already in the same condition so blocking has been removed just by placing what just by placing no lock again if i'm running the same code and let go let's go to the execution plan right it is in block now you again you will see the block is happened here on the 57 right by the 58 okay so how to fix that just come back to here and just commit it so it will back to the normal then commit or roll back whatever the action you have so if i run query without no law also i will see in less than a second so you guys understood the importance of the no log for the performance tuning i would say uh, if we are running the code with the no log what will happen and if we run the code without no log what will happen just the problem is if we are working for the banking domain don't go for the no log or if if you are working for the reporting purposes or some kind of auditing purpose i would always suggest go for the no log in the reporting it will always be useful because the data already being settled so settling settled data doesn't impact more problem for us right so this is related with the no log hope you guys like this video and enjoyed and if you have any doubt please message me or the computer one of the, my subscriber requested one question i'm going to explain about this with no law he asked me question for example if i'm writing a code with select star from my demo no lock with no lock and i'm going to insert data into this table like for example into insert into test so if i'm going to do that this is working if i use the condition where some condition like id is equal to zero zero will it also insert the data yes answer to the question is yes so no log is just an optional clause which you can use it so if you guys like and enjoyed my video please don't forget to share and subscribe and comment also so if you comment it will motivate me and help me to know that you people are really enjoying and watching this video i will upload more video more interesting performance training video in my coming session and thanks for watching have a great day ahead